beautiful Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jali here with your yearly reading for 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Aries, this is your yearly reading. I'm going to get your overall general energy for the year and then I'm going to take it month by month, okay? Now, just to let you know, uh, January, of course, is a little bit of a slow start to the year. Picks up a little bit more pace when Mars goes direct on the 12th of January. Um, now, before I even start, they're showing me an image in the water of a chessboard. Chessboard. Now, when you get chess, uh, it tends to mean, uh, you know, you may be thinking about your next move. Uh, it could also be uh, strategizing for the year ahead, making plans, resolutions. I mean, we all tend to do that as we move throughout uh, January, of course. Um, but it could be also about you having, uh, you know, something in mind that you're trying to accomplish and you're playing the long game on it, okay? Um, so you may be thinking about um, your next steps, shall we say, in either your career or in love or perhaps even in terms of spiritual um, wealth, shall we say, because we do have um, the Buddha card there for you as well. So you're thinking about your life purpose. Uh, we got coins. They want me to go one more. So I'll give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Good Angels. Uh, we got Clover. So lovely uh, energy there for you. Uh, now also, um, I was saying about, um, oh gosh, they give me another image already. <laughs> uh, they give me an image of a lily, a lily. Uh, now, peace lily, of course, uh, but it could be lily as in a flower. I mean, flowers tend to represent um, creativity. So perhaps they're indicating a very creative year. Uh, I mean, clover twice, Aries. Wow, this is uh, pretty spectacular. Two different decks and look at that. So very, very uh, positive year ahead overall for you. Um, we will get to those cards now in a moment, but the lily can also mean that you're going to be a little bit more sociable this year than you have been in previous years, perhaps as well. So we will take it by month by month uh, there. Uh, January, uh, we do have Mercury going direct on the um, 18th as well and that delivers clarity uh, finding your voice and together Mars you know Mars gives you that increase of passion amplifies energy and personal power uh, so you will see that January around about mid month of January things start to really uh, pick up pace and you know you start to really hit the ground running shall we say but it's a slow ease in there now your first card is the Buddha of course um, and this is about spiritual wealth so of course you've got finances there as well but I feel this year is more about your true calling uh, really connect to the things that resonate with your soul and with your heart. It says life purpose, more than money, spiritual wealth, counselor, being guided, divine path. So some of you, you know, uh, because you're very good uh, people, my beautiful Aries, you know, you're good at giving really good advice. And, uh, you know, I get this sense that you could use your skills, your people skills to uh, help other people on their journey as well. You are really an influencer when it comes to life. Uh, so, you know, there's no accident that the King of Wands tends to be an Aries card. Magician card is an Aries card. The Fool card, Aries card. This is about, you know, your joy de vivre, that passion that you have, that drive uh, to make things happen. So I feel though that you're looking at it more from, um, you know, your true prosperity path, your, your true calling. And I feel uh, some areas that you may feel called to work in or even just uh, exist in, shall we say, 
whether you're retired or not, I feel it's more connected to uh, other people. Uh, it could be more to do with the mind, the, the body, mind and soul kind of energy. Some of you may go into counseling work or you may find that you are giving good advice to people uh, and helping them on their journey. Some of you may go into mentorship programs or think about uh, doing that. You may even set up your own blog or social media platform where you use your voice this year to help others and get a fair recompense financially for it as well. Okay. OK, uh, so some of you may set up a website or, you know, things like that. So um, whether you're retired or not, you may even find your voice in writing a book because you've got the book there. Some of you may think about uh, writing a memoir um, on uh, personal experiences that can help other people emotionally. Or you may even think about the sector that you used to work in and how you can use that knowledge to develop some sort of manuscript or film script or, you know, even do uh, blogs or uh, podcasts on how to help others. And, you know, it just ticks over financially as well for you. Now, we do have coins, so financially going to be a very good year for you. Money is coming on in and it says good investment, money coming in, wealth, sales and finance, getting a raise. I mean, and there's that word lucky. OK, so lucky and you don't need me to uh, really explain to you that the clover represents good luck, good fortune, serendipity, moments of things just working out in your favor. We've got lucky break, gamble, good fortune, chance, finance, outdoors, risky business and surprises. So this year is going to be um, a mixed bag. Expect the unexpected. But I feel like a lot of it turns out in a very positive sense for you as well, um, because you know, you've got the clover twice in two different decks. I would say that if you're thinking of launching anything this year, this is going to be a great year for you to take that uh, risk. Of course, it'll be a calculated risk. You'll do your due diligence beforehand, but I feel this is a very good year for you to start things, make things happen, put them in motion. But that chessboard is showing up for a reason. Now, either you are literally putting away a chessboard or you can see one as you're listening to this reading, or spiritually, it means that you're thinking for the long term and you're making moves to put yourself in a really good position to accomplish uh, you know, a win of some sorts. Now we've also got book, so a lot of knowledge this year, uh, but the book is, uh, they keep giving me this word purpose in the water. I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. So any images that come up there, uh, whether it's a lily uh, or the chessboard, um, or you know, uh, they're giving me that word purpose, um, you know, these are images that may mean nothing to you at this moment in time, like the lily may mean nothing, but then you start to see lilies all over the place. Um, and it's a sign from your guides to let you know that you're on the right path and there is good fortune ahead. Um, now, the book there is about the wealth of knowledge that you have within you, okay? And when you get this card, this is a, you know, a real year of learning. So I feel like you, you may do a lot of learn as you earn. So you may be discovering more things about what you do in the career sector and you get more money for it. Um, some of you, as I said, will set up second streams of income or side hustles where you'll learn how to do things that you've never done before and you will actually capitalize on it as well. Um, I feel like you're learning to turn situations around for the positive because we have the Wheel of Fortune energy number 10 there at the bottom and it's number 26 at the top there when you multi when you uh, reduce it, sorry, uh, 2 plus 6 of course is 8 which is the number of the self. So I feel like you are learning more about yourself this year and what you want, what really vibes with your soul, uh, not just with your bank account or not just with life in general. I feel like there's a real spiritual quest this year uh, to go deeper and learn more about your surroundings, uh, your position in the world, your your purpose, your meaning um, and your prosperity path. Um, yeah, so I was just seeing if I get any other energy from that, but I, I wasn't picking up anything more than that. Uh, let's go month by month. Now, uh, we do have major planetary developments this year. Uh, we've got uh, five planets shifting signs. And when that happens, it tends to cause uh, big changes, radical events, Saturn and Pluto being the biggest changes of the year. Now, Saturn switches signs uh, from Aquarius to, well, it transits signs from Aquarius to Pisces on the 7th of March. And Saturn switches signs every two to three years. It moved into Aquarius uh, around about April 2020. And we all know what happened there. Saturn is um, an energy of um, shaking up the typical 
order of things, shall we say. Uh, it can bring uh, rules, regulations, obstacles, and it can cancel things out. It can uh, stop things, delay things, be really disruptive in general. And of course, Aquarius uh, rules humanity, social interaction, independent thinking. So back in 2020, there was a lot of shifts in those areas as Saturn and Aquarius got together. And, uh, you know, we do, we, we, as I said, we all know what happened in uh, April of 2020. Um, March into April 2020. So um, now it moves into Pisces or transits Pisces, which actually is very positive for health. So it can mean that everybody will be focused on their immune system, making it strong with good food, uh, good intentions, um, good diet, uh, that's food, but also vitamins, things like that, better sleeping patterns, exercise routines, and just existing in, you know, really positive company because we are all energy and vibration. So I feel like uh, collectively everybody will feel that influence to cut out negative or toxic situations from their life to live uh, a happier, more peaceful peaceful life and maybe that's why the peace lily came up there for you as well. Um, now because um, Saturn does move into Pisces, uh, transits Pisces there, um, you will find uh, that there may be major restructures within healthcare systems or better regulations um, as we move forward. So it is a positive energy. Saturn uh, is like to be strict. So you may actually find that you are very strict with yourself when it comes to diet or eradicating bad habits. So it actually is a positive influence and uh, helps us process deep emotions for a better mental health as well. So uh, managing stress levels this year will be something that will be at the pinnacle of people's minds and uh, eradicating, of course, uh, bad habits. Now, Pisces and Saturn together, they have a mix that brings in good karma. Well, good karma if you've been good and karma nonetheless if you've been bad. So uh, expect some sort of deliverance this year uh, for yourself, but also for those around you. Perhaps anyone who has been negative towards you will feel the effects of Saturn in Pisces. Uh, Jupiter, it changes signs every year. It's a planet of good luck, expansion, and opportunity. Uh, so they're really um, undecided about December for you. We've got the Hermit. Okay. Um, and, um, you know, Jupiter is direct until May. So this means that uh, when Uranus goes direct at the end of January, it brings major shocks, surprises, U-turns. Um, but because we do have Jupiter direct until May, it softens the blow between Saturn and Uranus, okay? Because those two can be very uh, trickster planets together, shall we say. Um, so it's important to note that Jupiter is really safeguarding our energy and making um, any shocks or surprises, they can be really positive ones that bring innovation and opportunity. The nodes change signs and affects the eclipses this year, uh, which has a potential to change major global events. And Pluto is a big one. Uh, we do have um, it changing signs. It happens every 10, 15, 20 years, depending on the planets in the sky. And anything hidden will come to light, okay? So anything that's been deeply embedded away from the collective comes to light. Now, this could be documents um, that have been hidden away for decades on major issues, they start to come to light or they could be leaked because this is the year of expose. And of course, where uh, Pluto is going to be doing that, a lot of exposes and things coming to light that have been hidden for many, many years. Uh, you could hear things uh, about things that were hidden maybe last year or in the last couple of years, or even, as I said, decades ago, um, where um, it's time to release those documents, like governmental documents and things like that. So, um, also, what's really positive about uh, Pluto going direct or moving into Aquarius, shall we say, is that any lingering issues or persistent problems that you've been experiencing, repetitive cycles that you found you could not overcome, uh, they will be released and major improvements will be seen. So it's a very positive experience. Now, your first card is a lover's card. So you're actually starting the month of January in the Law of Attraction because at grassroots, this is a card where you're attracting what your heart desires because you are vibing at a free frequency of light, of hope, and of um, positivity. Um, now, the lover's card is like choice. So again, it, uh, that's why you obviously got the chessboard because it's like your move. What's the next move? You have a lot of choices to make in January. What is your primary focus for the year ahead? And basically you're vibing in a frequency where you're like, what does my heart desire? So again, it comes to that spiritual wealth. Um, you're not connecting yourself to anything that just feels out of alignment with your morals or your integrity. You're going for what really makes your soul 
sing or be on fire, shall we say. And, and when I say on fire, I mean with passion, okay? Because passion is your power. Uh, the lover's card is you attracting good things because you are engaging your heart and saying, this is me, this is my authentic self and my authentic desires. And I will work really hard to take steps towards accomplishing my desires and the universe will actually take takes 10 steps towards you to help you make whatever it is you desire happen. Now, some of you, uh, if you're already in a relationship, you'll feel totally loved up by your person. Um, some of you may even uh, get a surprise engagement around about the end of January into February time, um, if you've been with someone for a while, uh, or you may you know, suddenly decide to move in with that person. If you're looking for love, um, I definitely see that you could meet someone on the cusp of January into February there. Uh, it will be a surprise meeting and I feel like um, you know there is a potential to have a choice in terms of uh, relationships, but I feel you know that you are looking for a high level commitment this year if you're single and I feel like there's something here that will uh, come to term and you'll get married to this person or settle down with this person. There's a contract, a deep soul contract with this person. If you are already married, I definitely see you deep your connection with your person and some of you may actually uh, think about going on a spiritual journey um, it may be a vacation to a country that um, has a lot of historical um, I see see it's historical wealth that is connected to spirituality so there's strong cultural um, energy that vibes with your soul in order to bring peace so I feel some of you may go on a journey of discovery with that. Uh, Four of Swords is, you know, I'm just clarifying the month for you. So they're really indicating that Four of Swords is like January is a bit of a slow month at the beginning where you're taking some time out to really think, meditate on, um, you know, your path. Um, reflect on what it is that you want. This is a card of also getting closure on anything past uh, that has caused any upset or pain. Um, now, some of you, you know, you may take a withdrawal step back from society or seeing anybody at the moment because you may be really wanting to get clear on your goals. And what's really important about this card, it tends to mean you are protected in any decision that you make. And the Four of Swords is like you're getting comfortable with uncertainty. You don't know what the year will bring, but you're really being positive that the universe has got your back and that you'll be guided to where you want to go. Okay, because the Four of Swords, she's literally sleeping on the moon. She could fall off that moon, but she's uh, and the moon represents uncertainty. But it can also be, um, you know, represent your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. So it's like you're getting clear on what you want. You trust that the universe has got your back and that you'll be guided to where you want or need to be. And also, um, this is about you powering up, recharging your batteries to get um, ready to take action, shall we say. And again, around about mid-month, we've got the Page of Wands. This year, I feel it's new you, uh, new everything, to be honest. New year, new you, new everything. And I feel like this year, you're promising yourself that you're going to be bolder. You're going to step out of comfort zones. I feel like you're very curious about what the world has to offer. And I feel you've got a lot of new ideas and visions that you want to accomplish this year. And this is a card of action. So I really feel you'll get out there and make things happen. This is your vitality returning, your... Um, motivation, your drive, and uh, your energy returning so you can commit yourself to those goals and make things happen. Uh, Page of Wands also is a card of venturing forward. Some of you may be making travel plans uh, that will happen throughout the year. You may think about them in the month of January and get some really good deals financially um, before your actual travel plans occur. Uh, I see travel happening. Um, well, I feel there's a couple of moments where you could travel, but I see a really big event happening in September for you. So maybe some of you have already booked that or it'll be something that crops up in the year. Um, now, also with this page of wands, it's like enthusiasm. Some of you, you know, I get this sense of wondering what's different about this year. Is it going to be just 2023, same old year, same old thing? But I feel like you're promising to yourself that it's going to be different because you're going to make it so, okay? There's a lot of potential when you get uh, pages. Some of you may be thinking about um, your true potential and what it is you need to do to accomplish those things and become a master at what you do and be fairly recompensed for it. Some of you may be thinking about courses of learning on things that you're passionate about. You may even pick up a new hobby or something exciting because this is a card of excitement, enthusiasm, um, so that you can learn something throughout the year and it gives you freedom. So some of you, it may be a course that's connected to your um, hobbies where it's something you enjoy and it brings a fresh 
fresh energy, a breath of fresh air towards you. Some of you, it may be travel, and I get this all other sense of some of you, it may be connected to you learning something that will help you in your career. Well, because wands are all about passion or a goal. Um, so I get this sense of you, um, you know, committing to your goals or committing to your resolutions and making them happen and feeling free in it as well. You know, when you give up something like, uh, you know, if you're trying to be, uh, you know, better eating habits, shall we say, and normally you'd have a craving for chocolate or whatever. Um, I feel like in January, you're like, nope, got no cravings. I really am doing this. This is happening. And I feel like it's something that will continue throughout the year. You may have a little bit of a wobble around about November, okay, is what I see. But I do um, actually see you sticking to those resolutions and those things that you really want to connect to, okay? Um, now, the Page of Wands also is a card of purpose, so it's really interesting that that energy keeps coming up. It's like, what is my purpose? How do I add value to my life and to my surroundings? And what's the meaning of it all? So I feel like you carry that energy throughout the year. As we move into um, the month of February, we've got the tower. Now the tower, uh, a lot of people see it as negative, of course. It can be like a shock or a change. Um, it can be something that you were not expecting that changes everything. But remember that uh, Jupiter is direct. So any shock changes, a turnarounds or U-turns, they tend to have a positive outcome for our higher good. It may feel uncomfortable in the moment because humans, we don't like changes unless we're in charge of those changes, right? So um, it's important to recognize um, that there will be, um, what do you call those? It's like a ripple effect. And long-term ripple effect means that it will be good for you in the long run. Uh, but what I get here, the tower is basically like a prison type energy where you go round and round and round in circles about something and you know that something needs to change. You need to be liberated from a situation. So I feel anything that's felt boring, uh, anything that's been humdrum, repetitive, routine, I feel like you are dedicating yourself to make things a little bit more exciting, to come out of a comfort zone, to take a leap of faith. And you may actually do a major restructure of your life in February, okay? It feels like all change for you this year. Um, anything that you feel that occurs in the negative for you or surprises you out of the blue and you're like, oh, you were not ready for that. The star energy indicates, you know, it's something that is, um, it's not a long-term um, difficulty because the star is like healing from it, uh, getting over it, seeing why it happened and learning from it. So it could be like, um, for example, you could get a surprise bill or you could get a surprise fine. Uh, if you're driving somewhere and you didn't even realize that you got a fine, you may have dr driven into a zone uh, that you didn't realize uh, you couldn't drive into and you may get a shock fine for that. And you're like, oh, it's so frustrating and it's upset you. But at the same time, the star energy is like, it's okay. It can be resolved. Uh, you just, uh, you know, you'll learn from it for the next time. So I just want to pull a card on that tower because I feel like it's actually positive for you. Okay. Uh, thanks so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide? Because you're giving me this sense of, you know, liberation, uh, taking away restriction, page of swords, you'll learn from it. That's for sure. Page of swords also is like, if you're making any changes, I really feel that the, it's almost like the rule for you this year, and really technically there's no rules unless, you know, if nobody wants to hurt anybody, of course, but it's like governing yourself. I get this sense that you're going to think before you act. You're going to investigate before you change. So I feel like you're putting yourself uh, in a really good position. Yeah, some of you, Queen of Swords there, it's like getting really clear on what you want. So the... Um, the the tower is like a revelation it can be it doesn't have to be like your whole world crumbling down or anything negative it can be like a sudden aha moment where you're like oh, i've really wrestled with this for such a long time and now i know what to do because the star energy is happening for you in march which means you've got clarity you can see a situation clearly that perhaps you felt very stuck in now we've got that page of swords, all those books. So I definitely see there's so much to learn this year for you. So many um, like uh, opportunities for wisdom and to use the wisdom that you already have deep within. Uh, as you can see, this figure has their hand over their heart. So I feel like you're learning to follow and trust your heart and not over question things that lead to analysis paralysis. 
Page of Swords also is about investigating an opportunity or some sort of news that comes your way. Could be a sudden opportunity uh, in work, for example, if you're in your career. Could be a sudden um, opportunity that pops in your way that gives you uh, a chance to move forward, to relocate somewhere else, um, or get clear on a path of um, change that you really want to do that will bring stability. Uh, Page of Swords is like spreading your seeds, spreading your knowledge so that you can grow and that you can learn from your situation. Um, I definitely get some of you may even like have a sudden, like it's almost like a sudden email may come to you about a course of learning that perhaps you've been thinking about doing for a while and it's a sign from the universe. Do it. Um, they're edging you forward towards doing something and I feel it will bring all your dreams come true in the long run. Uh, but I feel a lot of knowledge here. Something you've had your eye on or you've been thinking about is going to surprise you. It's going to show up. Uh, so for some of you, it may be an opportunity to elevate in your career. Um, the Queen of Swords indicates there's some sort of travel or there's some sort of movement uh, that's connected with this. Okay, uh, Queen of Swords is a card of being very clear, being self-sufficient. Some of you may even set up your own business or launch something in this new year, uh, in, the, in the February, and surprise everybody. Uh, as you can see, she's on a hot air balloon there. She's moving forward. She's elevating above drama because whatever this situation is for you, you're taking a leap of faith and you're elevating. And as you can see, she's bringing a tree there with her. So that indicates growth, but also stability and perhaps planting roots elsewhere. If you're retired, some of you may be looking uh, further afield, wanting to perhaps relocate somewhere, um, maybe even abroad. You may think about having a holiday home or uh, doing a vacation that's out of your uh, normal uh, countries that perhaps you visit. Um, there's definitely this sense of freedom here liberation I mean this is a, an energy of freedom so I feel this tower is working for you and of course the nine of cups means a wish or a desire is fulfilled you're going to feel content this is a card of the good life okay it's also a card of success so this could be a milestone in your career if you're stepping up into some sort of um, you know leadership position or an opportunity that um, I get the sense this opportunity is worth taking a real close look at, okay? But I feel like, again, she's looking through the telescope. So you're thinking about the long haul. You're thinking about the long-term commitment to something to make it special and make it work so that it is uh, lucrative for you, but also puts you in a really good mind space. Lots of new ideas in this month. I feel like you're gonna be very productive. I really feel like you're gonna surprise yourself and be so proud of the decisions that you're making in the month of February, okay? Um, now, also, uh, as we move in, I just want to say as well, I do apologize for the length of time it's taken me to get this reading to you. Um, you know, I've moved to my folks for the holidays and I won't be back in my usual space until, um, you know, in a couple of weeks time. Uh, but their neighbors are doing some building work. So they've got builders in and that was a surprise to me too. So I had my tower moment, um, but it's been super noisy and I've had to work around their schedule so that I could actually get the reading out for you. Okay. And they've been pretty full on all day and, and pretty much into the evening as well, because they're doing it themselves as well as having builders in. So I do apologize, but we'll, we'll move on as we Moving to March, we've got the star. So anything that you're trying to accomplish, I see you being appreciated for it and even rewarded for it in the month of March. Now, this could be an acknowledgement of your skills, your talents, because you are a very gifted person, okay? Uh, but sometimes you don't believe in yourself and your guides are sending you an opportunity that will highlight that you are so gifted at what you do and that your talent stands out from everybody else. Um, I definitely see with the star energy that um, you are doing a lot of healing, uh, personal development, and I feel like there's a new version of yourself where you are um, in the flow of making things happen, but also making sure you're doing things for your own best interests. And that's not a selfish act. It's actually um, a very healthy way to conduct life because sometimes when we are always trying to please other people, we find that the least person is happy is ourselves. And normally you can't please another person. They can only please themselves. So everybody ends up really frustrated. So it's important to, um, you know, in the most positive sense, make sure your own needs, you know, your own cup of love is full before you can extend it to others. And I definitely see that you doing that. Um, now with the star, they're actually showing me a swimming pool in the water there. Uh, swimming pools. Um, now this could be to cleanse emotional, um, situations could also be problems or um, 
issues that you've been having are dissolving for you. Could also be a desire for fun, uh, to relax. Changes are happening, and it could be an also uh, could also be an energy of being transparent, uh, transparent with your actions. So it could be something hidden comes to light round about this month. Uh, it could be something that you're working really hard on in silence and suddenly you hit a milestone or a climax in your career and suddenly everybody knows what you're up to and it's a good thing because it's successful and you're like you're in the spotlight for reward or recognition. Uh, for those of you who want to be uh, within your community, I definitely see you being someone who is an integral part of the community, whether you're retired or not. Some of you may put yourself on a course of learning or get involved in some sort of community event. And I feel like you really stand out as being someone who has a lot of knowledge. A, there's a lot of respect here as well. Um, but I feel some of you will find um, friendships or soul tribe members in this month as well that really vibe with your frequency. There's definitely a wish coming true here between February and March. It's like the cusp. And I definitely see here uh, stars are aligning to bring you much better opportunities in the future because I, I see as soon as you get a success in the month of March, you're on to the next. It's like, how do you move on from this? Okay, so let me just pull some cards regarding the star energy for you. Uh, it is a moment of clarity and seeing that your ideas are starting to take shape and they're starting to bring um, reward as well for them. Uh, Seven of Swords, thank you so much Spirit Guides, Grand Angels, can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay, uh, justice. So as I said, there's a truth that comes to light here in this month um, and I feel um, you are putting your own needs first. Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords is an interesting card. It can mean that someone who kept something from you, they open up and they tell you. They come clean. Remember, uh, Pluto is really influencing people to be a little bit more transparent and open. Um, so Seven of Swords is like um, a piece of information that was not readily available to you or was kept from you. This could be in the workspace, in the family uh, place. It could also be within uh, your soul tribe members. It's like something that perhaps was kept from you. Maybe even this person or this situation felt it was for your highest good. Uh, whatever the case, it comes to light. It's exposed and they want to find a solution. If someone, um, like there could be like an indiscretion or something or a confidentiality breach in this month. Um, so for example, if you're at work and you told a colleague something, um, you know, they could actually expose you, um, or if, and, and I don't feel like it's neg negative for you, but I feel like there's this sense of wanting to do what's right. You may even uncover something that perhaps is going on behind the scenes somewhere and you want to expose it, um, because you're putting yourself in a really good position. Um, and I don't feel like you're trying to put someone else in a bad position. I feel like you're doing something with integrity. You're doing it because you feel it's right. Okay. Um, now, Seven of Swords uh, can also be someone doing something that can be misconstrued as negative because normally in the Seven of Swords, the card is golden and gold uh, tends to represent or yellow tends to represent um, positive energy. Uh, in the typical uh, right away tarot there, the traditional uh, deck, uh, there is a figure who is uh, taking seven, well, the Seven of Swords available, he's taking five. Okay. He has the potential to take six, but he is too fast. So he's in stealth mode. So he misses one sword because he's had to be quick. So it can mean don't rush too quickly or you may miss something and it may be detrimental to your experience or to like if you're signing a contract, for example, it's like make sure you don't go too quickly. Read this, the small print because you have the justice card there, which connects to contracts. Same if you're getting a new opportunity. It's like make sure there's nothing hidden in the clauses where it's like if you want to leave, you have to give three months gardening leave or notice or something like that and you forfeit like loads of pay or I mean it, there could be like a hidden clause in, in a contract. Similarly if you're uh, buying something or purchasing something I would make sure I read the fine print during this period because there may be something hidden in the small print that you're not aware of and if you want to return it it may be like no returns or uh, you have to pay for the shipping and it's quite expensive. Uh, so you know I, I just get this sense of make sure you do di your due diligence. Okay. Um, now also it could be uh, the Seven of Swords, it's like someone could misconstrue 
an action that is someone is trying to do something positive but because they're doing it on the fly or they're doing it differently to than everybody else would do it it may be misconstrued as wrong so there could be the potential there for uh, that a misunderstanding in the month of uh, March uh, it could be with a matriarchal type figure uh, it doesn't have to be but it could be uh, it could be somebody um, uh, who is quite normally is quite mothering and caring and someone who has a lot of empathy and it's like their actions are like suddenly out of character and you know it's like what are you hiding or what's going on but I feel a resolution comes to this situation so it will be worked out in the month of March anyway okay um, also Seven of Swords is like doing something independently. So some of you may be launching a new career. Eggs represent something new in your life. So uh, suddenly you may have this wonderful idea or be inspired to launch something and change everything um, or do something differently. Some of you may decide to buy property, real estate round about this month because I do feel uh, March, April time for majority of people, I feel like there's a fluctuation in the economic um, markets and I feel like there's a potential there like a window of opportunity small one nonetheless um, for uh, purchasing power okay but I do feel the rest of the year it's gonna be very fraught with uh, energy rises um, inflation rising and I do feel 2023 in general is going to be a bit of a bumpy ride for us all okay uh, but I do feel within that I feel you've put yourself in a really good position uh, to weather a storm um, so just watch out for that. Uh, the Empress card is a card of being true to yourself and uh, you flourishing despite these circumstances. So that's why I feel like whatever is going on around you doesn't really dent your confidence. Um, it doesn't really touch you at all, shall we say. Uh, it's like you've got dignity, you're rising above it and you are saying, you know what, you come to me if you wanna find a solution. Um, and I do feel things do get resolved. Uh, the Empress card also very creative and productive month for you. So this year will be busy in the best way possible and anything you've been working on uh, really hard towards um, you've already sown those seeds in previous years I feel like things start to come to term you start to see the rewards for your hard work okay uh, so it could be uh, some sort of bonus time or if you as I said are setting up your own company or buying a property or doing something big in the month of March make sure you uh, you know check all the small details um, Empress card also because we just had the uh, tower energy, some of you may suddenly find that you're pregnant or that your partner is pregnant, uh, depending on whether you want a child or not. Um, so, you know, if you're not looking to, uh, you know, start a family just yet, then of course take precautions. Uh, the justice card can also mean that there is some sort of legality. If you're going through a divorce, for example, there may be some dirty tactics going on, but I feel you lead with your head held high. And I'm talking about if the divorce has already uh, put, been put in motion, and you're dealing with that there may be some legalities that you have to um, deal with and you know there may even be a power play for the children if you have children there, there's just this un undercurrent going on in March and I feel but you rise to the top and you get the best outcome it's a win-win situation for you as long as you lead with integrity their dirty underhanded tactics will be exposed and it doesn't mean it can mean that someone tries to pull a fast one they may not do anything really really bad but they may you know, tell a little fib in order to come out the best, shall we say. But I feel you actually do. Uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. There are some adjustments to be made in this month um, and some contracts to be signed. If you're in business and setting up, again, I would read all the, the clauses uh, on the paperwork, the legalities, tax things, you know, everything above board because there's a potential to be exposed or caught in this month. Um, so the justice card indicates as well that you may make some adjustments based on any changes that you've made and you'll see the way forward but it is positive on the other side whatever it is um, that is happening in this month there may be some twists and turns but I feel um, you know you are guided and protected and that it works out in your favor now as we move into um, the month of April um, this is a real month for learning spiritual development so I get this sense here of you deepening your connection to source some of you may even start a course of meditation or really take your meditation or your spiritual gifts more seriously and develop them further. Um, the Hierophant can also be that some of you go back to school or college or pick up some sort of course of learning where there's a certificate at the end of it. And you may even then go into teaching or becoming a mentor in that 
practice or whatever it is that you're thinking about, whether it's uh, being a yoga Pilates teacher or whether you're thinking about becoming a counselor or a psychologist, or even if you're going into um, you know, consulting uh, in terms of economics or whatever it is, uh, even healthcare, uh, there's definitely um, you rising to the top and using your knowledge to help other people. Also, this is a month where you may be a good friend to a person and you give really good advice because I see you giving really good advice to someone here with this one. Uh, the Hierophant, if uh, you're already in a relationship at this point, some of you may be getting married in the month of April. Um, so congratulations. And it will be a beautiful uh, wedding there. Um, you, you will uh, have such an incredible day. Um, but with the Hierophant, I get this sense of um, you, <clears throat> it's like committing yourself to a spiritual practice or even thinking about going on a spiritual retreat um, in order to learn more about yourself. I get this sense that some of you may be learning a new skill or craft as well in this month. So it could be like, for example, if you always wanted to learn how to scry or you, uh, you know, wanted to um, pick up, uh, you know, some sort of sport. Um, I definitely see this being a really good month where you're connecting to that. We do have the devil there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angel. Uh, just to let you know, the devil doesn't always have to mean, uh, you know, something negative, but we will clarify it in a moment. Um, the devil can be like a Capricorn energy um, where there's something tempting available. Uh, it could also be that you're dealing with a Capricorn in this month. Um, so the devil card is like, um, I always see it as a very positive card because it is an indicator that something feels a little bit stagnant or you feel stuck in something and it's um, prodding you or prompting you to identify areas where you feel um, stuck or even tempted. So. For example, this could be a strong month uh, to be tempted to overspend or um, to overeat. You know, I do feel like you will get that. You got the devil card over here in November. So it could be that there is a little bit of a waiver um, if you are off the wagon, for example, or you are um, disconnecting from any negative substances. There could be a little bit of a wobble around about April. But I feel like you use your energy to get out of your head and you uh, find a way to... Um, uh, move away from it, shall we say. So let me just pull a card on that devil for you. Because the devil card can be like, um, we've got the queen of cups, self-care, putting your own needs first. Thank you so much, spirit guys, going angels, can you please guide? Uh, oh, sorry, I picked it up upside down by accident. It is actually up this way, but I picked it up this way. I'm not sure why I did that. I'm taking the uprights and reversals in this one. Um, okay, I mean... So there may be a tempting offer that comes to you in the month of April. It may not be what you want, okay? So really think about before you act. But I mean, it could be a new project, for example, or even if uh, you decide to, uh, you know, put yourself on a, some sort of community group or a, um, a hobby or something that you want to connect to, all may not be as it seems, Okay, um, so again, I get this sense of do your due diligence, always look underneath the surface. And because we were on the cusp, perhaps, of, uh, you know, the month of March into April, they're indicating that something here that could bind you or you could feel stuck in. Um, I feel use your intuition. It's important uh, with that Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a card of being sensitive. If something feels off, listen to that. Uh, feeling because it's there for a reason. Uh, this is also a, a card of feeling a little bit more emotional uh, than usual. So some of you may feel a little bit overwhelmed in your emotions this month. And it's not that you need to control your emotions. You need to sit with them and understand why certain emotions are present so that you can find a way that they do not have power over you any longer. Uh, the Knight of Swords indicates a lot of lifestyle choices. So this could be, you know, if, for example, you've cut out some sort of food that you think you're intolerant to and you have a little bit of a lapse round about April time, you may actually see that this is something that is detrimental to your health. So you may have to realize that actually it really needs to go because, um, you know, intolerance may lead to um, you being uh, allergic to it and it, there may be heightened reactions to it in this month as well. So you realize that you need to really cut 
it out. Uh, also, I get a sense of you using your emotions to cut yourself free from any stagnant situation. But I do see an offer coming on in here for you. Uh, it could be a creative endeavor, creative project. If you're retired, it could also be something that really you're turning a new chapter, you're learning more about yourself and you're deciding that the way things have been going, you just want to change. You want more excitement in your world, but also stability. It's about kind of finding that middle road. Uh, but the Nine of Cups indicates those don't fast track anything because you know everything will be as it's meant to be when it is divine timing to be so. Uh, Nine of Cups in the reverse also can mean that there's something here that you're dissatisfied with and you recognize you need to cut it out in order to be happy. Now this could be a relationship, it could be a friendship that you've outgrown. Um, it really comes to a head, a pinnacle month uh, in April where you decide it's gotta go. Okay, uh, so whether it's food, whether it's a toxic situation, because the devil card can represent a toxic environment. It could be that you're working in a toxic environment and you're like, you know what, I can't deal with this. Even if you take up a new position um, in a company and you're like, okay, on the surface, it seemed really awesome and they're offering good money. But now I see that actually there's a lot of low morale here, a lot of people, um, you know, um, not connecting and there's a lot of toxic energy, a lot of egos going on. So you may actually decide to make a quick change um, during this month and move to something that is more rewarding for you because the sun indicates ultimately you're going to do the best for your circumstance and you're going to be happy. So the sun card is a lot of positive energy, a lot of success, but it's about noticing when things are not right for you rather than just putting up with it because life is too short. Why should we just endure a situation just because it doesn't seem right for us in the moment and it pays really well? You know, um, or even if it's not about wealth or a job, uh, you know, what is the point in putting up with a long-standing friendship that cannot find a resolution to this toxicity? It's time to outgrow the situation and acknowledge that sometimes, you know, people are there for a reason or a season, and it's important to realize which is, you know, which is which. So the sun card is a liberation. Okay, as you can see, it's freedom, it's truth, it's being honest, and there's a lot of personal growth attached to this month as well. Definitely turning a new chapter with that Ace of Wands. Exciting times ahead. This is a card of being original, being your wonderful, authentic self. Um, a spark of vision, adventure, but it's also about growth, personal growth. So a strong self-development month for you. With the Ace of Wands, some of you may start a new project or start something really creative. Um, I feel there's a lot of stops and starts in this year for you, um, which is, tends to be really positive because it means you're checking in with yourself along the way, making sure you are getting what you truly want out of life. Um, and as we see the Page of Pentacles, um, this is about, <clears throat> excuse me, this is about being practical. It's about being realistic and making an effort. Uh, you get a lot of pages this year, which indicates you're very curious about what life can offer and you're opening yourself up to learning. You're applying yourself to um, you know, take the initiative and put yourself in a very stable position and start some new things that perhaps you've not done before. So whether these are new jobs, new projects, uh, new experiences, new travel, I definitely get this sense of you being curious about where life could lead you and how things can blossom and grow. In both these cards, as you can see, a flower is in bloom. So you're definitely uh, allowing yourself to spread your wings. Could be a new opportunity in a job environment. A page of Pentacles tends to mean, you know, a job being offered or news about finances. If you're, uh, uh, if you are retired, for example, it could be you're looking at uh, your finances and being clever about how you use your finances so that you can budget and make sure you still get adventure and excitement out of life on a shoestring budget, okay? So I feel like definitely you are being very strict with your finances and, um, I actually see it putting you in a really good position because remember this year there are going to be some twists and turns economically uh, for the collective and I feel things are going up. Wages maybe not so much but uh, there may be the odd bonus. Um, I haven't picked up on that energy for you right now. Uh, it may come towards the end of the year. Uh, some of th There are some people who've got bonuses around about April time um, and that may happen to you, but I haven't picked up that energy. So I'll be honest with you, I haven't picked it up yet uh, in the year for you, but it may come a little bit later this year for you perhaps in some situation. 
Now, as we move into um, the month of May, uh, this is a month where uh, you are um, taking things easy a little bit. Uh, you may even think about shaking your world upside down uh, in order to see things from different viewpoints. Um, I feel like you're kind of like analyzing your life this year. Uh, there's a real period of self-evaluation going on, wondering how you're developing and how you're progressing uh, towards making something really special happen for you. Now, of course, success and um, goals are all different for everybody, but I feel like you're checking in with yourself um, and looking at the sacrifices that you make in order to uh, make things happen. So you're looking at the time scale, whether it's worth it, um, how much time it takes up, uh, how you can reschedule or reshuffle, revamp your schedule so that you've got more you time available. Some of you may actually take uh, you know, some time off, a couple of duvet days, perhaps even during this month, um, or even some sort of travel. So let's go and see about that. As you can see, she is lying on a chair. So even though uh, you may be putting yourself on the tree of knowledge to try and gain new perspective, uh, you're also putting yourself in a really secure position. So some of you may set up a second stream of income um, and you know you have the ability to take a little bit of time off in order to um, you know do whatever it is you desire because you've put yourself in a position to earn a second stream of income. I mean, the lover's card even is a card of duality. So you may have even started with this um, second stream of income uh, at the beginning of the year. You may have already started this up. Uh, four of Pentacles, secure, okay? Uh, and Four of Pentacles is also connected to the home space. So uh, I, I just get this sense, you know, spending a little bit more time at home. Or, I mean, the Lover's card, I talked about that. So I was picking up that energy for this month where you're doing something that has duality, uh, that has purpose, something that you love. I mean, some of you may even do a little bit of DIY in this month or reshuffling your... Um, home space or even relocating uh, the, you know the six of swords can be a travel card as well could be that you've been going through a very testing time and you take some time out to really gain perspective on what's going on uh, four of pentacles as you can see i mean these two cards are cards of protection protection and redirection so whatever it is you are shaking up in your world know that you'll be directed to the right place and you're making the right decisions as well uh, four of pentacles indicates you are secure it is a card of gain so there will be a financial gain in this month uh, i feel i mean it could be that there is some sort of see i don't see bonus what i see is uh, perhaps uh, a little bit more uh, money coming on in. So there could be like a raise in finances in accordance with inflation uh, around about this time. Um, and the Four of Pentacles indicates uh, you'll be focusing perhaps some of that money on saving or even, you know, putting it back into the home space, DIY, or, you know, maybe just decluttering the environment in order to bring peace, harmony, and stability. Some of you may have that second side hustle set up by the time you come around to May, um, and it may be something that you do from the home space, okay? And I see it being very lucrative. It brings in a steady amount of money at first, but I feel like it starts to grow. And uh, I really, I'm seeing lots of like dollar signs here. So I, I feel like it will be very lucrative, uh, whatever it is you're setting up to keep yourself secure. Some of you may even purchase or relocate. You may de uh, you know, be dealing with uh, real estate in this month, okay? Uh, Six of Swords really does indicate that you are uh, going to discover new lands. Perhaps you're being directed to travel or even um, if you've been going through a difficult time, I feel like you are being um, protected and as I said, redirected there. Six of Swords is a card of finding inspiration and following it, okay? so. If you have been feeling that you need to take some time out just to re-evaluate or just check in, I feel like it's to bring emotional stability and uh, to bring growth to your situation as well. Um, now, when you get the hangman and the six of swords, swords are all about thinking or communication or ideas. They're all to do with the mind, the air, okay? So I feel like this is about you taking some time out to think, to gain greater wisdom so that you can really reflect on the next move or the next steps. So again, I get this, you know, sense of regrouping, re um, 
evaluating and revamping life round about this time. The Lovers card, if you're in a relationship, you're in full flow in a relationship there, a lot of love surrounding you. Uh, again, you and your partner may move in together or relocate during this time. Some of you may make a commitment to do some travel, um, maybe even take a sabbatical out if you're financially lucrative enough to do so. Um, you may take a sabbatical out and travel with your partner or find one of those jobs online um, that uh, you can do whilst you're on the move. Um, the lover's card though is the law of attraction, okay? So I feel like something you've been attracting or working hard towards shows up in this month and you can sit back and be proud of yourself that you made it happen. You, know, you made it happen, my beautiful Aries, okay? So it's important to realize and be uh, in a state of pride. Now pride of course is a positive thing, doesn't always have to be negative. Um, so it's important to realize um, to have confidence in your actions and your decisions and um, know that um, you are a real force to be reckoned with. Uh, now, also, if you're looking for a home round about this month and you're taking some time out to find one, I really get a sense that you'll find your perfect home. And it may be a little bit more money than you expect, okay? But I feel you may wait a little bit uh, for it to go down in price because I really feel the opportunity to purchase is probably March, April time, but by May, I mean, there may be some fluctuations that do not work in your favor. So I feel like, um, you know, you will find a way, but I feel it will, there's, there's patience required. Okay. So it could be that you actually find a way to purchase this property round about, um, July, August time. Um, but there may be a bit of a delay where you watch and wait, okay? But, uh, you know, if you've got the finances, then absolutely go for it. But I, I sense this watching and waiting kind of energy as well. Um, now, as we move into the month of June, we've got the Temperance card. So again, as you can see, these two months here are a little bit, well, three months really, very reflective, very philosophical, asking the bigger questions, and you're blending your energies. You're mixing all the ingredients to make something really special. Um, the temperance card is all about patience and there being purpose in patience because sometimes, um, you know, we need to wait for a certain amount of time in order to reflect and make sure that we're making the right decisions before we go ahead. Of course, don't get lost in like indecision. I don't feel like there's indecision here in this. I feel like you're merging all the ingredients. Just like, for example, if you found the property of your dreams in the month of May, it's like you're getting all your money. You're pooling everything together. You're bringing it all to mix it all up so you can make sure you put yourself in a really good position. Uh, the Temperance card is a card of integration, um, of mediation to you know, harmonize your path to avoid excess. Um, and there's magic in the uh, temperance card where everything comes together uh, to make things happen, okay? Um, you're in the zone, shall we say. Uh, you'll have meaningful encounters. And I feel like you turn these life lessons that you've been experiencing into reward. So you're turning pain to gain or difficult situations around using your crown chakra, which is all about to know. Know that you are in command of this um, change and whatever it is you are magnetizing towards you at this time, it shall be so. Uh, so let me just pull a card, Six of Cups there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Needles. Can you please guide? They want that one and one more. Thank you so much. Um, now, the Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia. Okay, so I'm uh, really reflective. Uh, what, thinking about all the things that perhaps didn't work in the past and reflecting on all the things that do work and deciding to do those, the things that you're good at, the things that bring reward, the things that really just feel good and releasing anything that's negative or no longer shares a place in your life, no longer has access to who you are. Six of Cups though at grassroots is about an offer coming on in, some sort of message or some sort of opportunity that you will absolutely love. Uh, for some of you, as I said, you may even make an offer on a property round about uh, July, sorry, June time, but it's not enough. There'll be negotiations where you'll have to uh, up it a little bit if you want this property. Otherwise, I would say wait until the, they bring down the property and then you can negotiate 
in a much more healthy bracket, shall we say. Uh, Six of Cups is a card of reuniting with good friends as well. So a little bit of downtime, very sociable month. Yes, you're going to be very, very busy, but I get the Six of Cups. There's some sort of offer coming on in that the universe gives you that is, uh, it, it vibes with your heart. It's like this will make you joyous. It will make you happy. Um, you may even also get an invitation to a reunion in this month. Um, I'm just going to pull one card on because you've got the Two of Pentacles here as well, which is about duality. Uh, again, if you've got that second stream of income, it's about finding balance and making sure that you do not spread yourself too thin. Okay, because whilst you're making something magical, uh, whether you are, you, I feel like you're multitasking and you may be pulled in different directions. And because you got the strength card there as well, it's an indication, make sure you have some you time, make sure that you've got time to, um, you know, look after yourself. The magician, yeah, magician in the reverse indicates being pulled in many directions, feeling like your energy is scattered or feeling like you can't reach your full potential at this time or you have struggle focusing, okay? So I feel it's like some of you may ha uh, be in a, a dreamy state in this month where you're thinking about past situations, very nostalgic, but whilst it's important to look back and think about wonderful times, and also, you know, don't look back with rose-tinted glasses. Very important not to do that. Um, we can dwell in the past for a moment, but don't live there because it'll rob you of the present moment. It's so important. Um, it's interesting that a little bit further down the line, you've got the Magician card, so a lot more focus and clarity going on further in the year. Uh, this may be like a frivolous month where you just enjoy yourself a little bit more and that's okay life is meant to be enjoyed okay um but that magician card indicates uh it's very important to like you don't always have to be doing you don't always have to be in the flow but you can reflect on situations where you feel people um and this is coming through strongly uh, you may reflect on situations in this month where people tried to rob you of your power or undervalued you or underestimated you and you may look at these people or these situations um with sadness that they underestimated or undervalued you but you are not proving anything to anybody but yourself so i really get this sense of you um when you live in the moment you actually can change your future because living in the moment gives you an opportunity to uh, be very present but also to manifest you can't manifest when you're thinking about the past because you're actually just living in an existence that is an illusion because the past no longer exists of course and we've got the uh, seven of wands it's in the reverse so it may be that you're taking the foot off something you're taking the foot off the pedal in some area of your life um, this can also be that you're quitting something you are releasing something that perhaps had power over you or you felt emotionally tried to control you in some way um, so I definitely see a positive and a negative to it, like something tries to gain your attention to derail you from your path, but uh, it could even be like an X that resurfaces in this month and you feel, you know what, you're maybe tempted, but I feel actually you're releasing that, it's gone. It could even just be a memory that triggers you, even if you're like walking down the sidewalk and there's a painting that you once saw in, you know, the real one in the get in a gallery, for example, and you just see a poster of one, you're like, oh. <gasps> gosh, the last time I saw that was with that person and wow, we were so happy and then they did this to me and it was horrific and we all fell apart. So it could be a trigger that you see in that month that has the potential to derail you uh, just a little bit, um, but I feel you're going to get back into balance. Two of Pentacles, yes, you're going to be very busy. This is a card of, uh, you know, um, being in the rhythm of life, shall we say, being very flexible because you're going to be juggling, doing a lot of things, but you are building security. So I feel you're going to be in the hustle mode where you're doing, making things happen and being confident. You've got the strength card, which is, of course, about your confidence, but it's also about your inner force, you being that force to be reckoned with. You're doing something bold. She's literally putting her hand in the lion's mouth. She's like taming her demons, her fears, uh, in order to be confident and say, you know what? I know that I've got this and you have. So I definitely see this a month of powering up your energy, uh, reflecting on um, the way forward and a wonderful opportunity coming on in here that mixes really well with you. Um, if you're retired, I definitely see you being very, very busy. You're not wasting your time. You're getting a sense of all that life has to offer. And as I said, some of you may have... Um, 
found some sort of property to move to. Uh, some of you may be thinking about moving to the country. Uh, I definitely get this, whatever this move is, I definitely get this sense of peace and everything coming into harmony and balance for you as well. Um, as we move into July, anything you've been working to towards, all those little seeds that you've planted throughout the years uh, really come to fruition. This is your hard work paying off. Your determination, um, your willpower is making you successful. Uh, the Empress card is a card of your knowledge uh, being your power and putting you in a position that is very strong. Uh, the Empress card also is about, uh, you know, being very creative, very productive. And, you know, this is about birthing new ideas or birthing opportunities, maybe even thinking about new ways of working, but put yourself first. So you may build a schedule. Um, you know, a work schedule around you, where you come first. Um, this is a card of you being a new version of yourself or nourishing yourself, uh, you know, really checking in with your healthcare routines, exercise, diet, things like that. But also the Empress card is a card that you're creating a path that is healing for yourself and for others, okay? And I feel it's lots of fruit being bared. Uh, for those of you who are already pregnant, uh, could it be a month where you give birth? Okay, um, now even if you expect your child to come in uh, maybe June or um, August, I feel like uh, this child will come in July. Okay, so uh, just picking that up there. Oh no, um, let me just clarify this Empress card for you. The star, okay. Uh, now the star is a wish delivered or the stars are aligning for you to be the best version of yourself. Uh, as I said, the whole year is about self-development and positive energy. Page of Cups. Um, Page of Cups is basically something you've been dreaming of or enthusiastic to, sh to start. Um, it, it starts to, it's almost like there's a catalyst for change there. Um, so uh, there may be something that some of you in this month think about changing about yourself um, because you want to feel more fulfilled. So it could be that, you know, you go on a strong exercise routine. Um, it could also be that you want to uh, change your hair um, because I get this sense of the first house. Okay, even though it's not your first house there, I just get this sense of identity of... Um, you know, maybe embracing a new wardrobe. There's something here that you're changing about yourself, not because you're dissatisfied with it. It's more that you are enhancing yourself in some way. Um, you know, um, for those of you who uh, like to have the odd procedure, um, you know, you may even pick, pick up some sort of procedure in this month as well. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not here to judge. Whatever you want to do that makes you happy, as long as you're not hurting anyone, uh, it's all good with me. Um, now, the star energy, you know, I get this sense that, uh, you know, there's a real positive energy here. There's like, I get this sense of inspiration, new ideas, very creative month. I've already said that, but I just get that you're being encouraged to follow your passions in this month because you'll be, ex uh, you're experienced at what you do and your true calling is coming through strongly in this month. So clarity, lots of ideas, fresh, it's like a, a breath of fresh air this month. Page of Cups, an offer coming on in that perhaps you uh, are enthusiastic about. This is the messenger of news. Um, this could be about your purpose as well. Pages tend to be all about purpose and being open, being receptive to this good stuff that's coming in. It is a catalyst for change. Now, there could also be a friend um, that, you know, someone, because I'm getting a strong um, sense of uh, friendship in this month. I will pull a card on that. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of support around you. Page of Cups also is like a dream or something intuitively that you knew would happen comes to light. It, it occurs like this wish. It's not something that you hope will happen. It's something you know will happen, okay? Um, and I get a sense of you being very psychic this month as well, okay? Uh, so a lot of psychic flashes coming forward. Four of Swords is meditation, reflection, okay, and protection there as well. Um, so a lot of meditation going on there. Ace of Swords. Uh, it'll be a busy month, so if your mind is busy and you're feeling a little bit clouded, they're indicating take some time out for you. Make sure you get that time that you need because if you're feeling blocked emotionally or uh, creatively, it can mean that you are uh, overworked or tired. And it's like, Four of Swords is like, get some rest. Make sure you look at your sleeping patterns as well. I would say if you want to be the best version of yourself, 
you know, disconnect from, you know, clickbait. Uh, you know, when they got those catastrophizing news stories where it's like, oh my gosh, the world is ending in like 50 seconds. You must click on this link to watch it. You know, those things, uh, they just put your nerves up and change your frequency, your vibration uh, into fear. And of course, the more fear we have, we all really know that like when you are at a uh, dis-ease in your body. You know, that word dis-ease brings disease, right? So it's important to realize that to clab, uh, calibrate, uh, let me get my words out, to calibrate your energy to make sure it is balanced so that you're not affected by these things which will change your frequency. Now we also have the four of wands there, um, so, and the ace of swords in the reverse. So it could mean that you are cutting out um, you know, someone you cut out that you tried to, um, who, who kept a secret from you. I feel like it is resolved, but I feel there's a real sense of healing or, um, you know, that it's like this person does you a good turn. They show, they show support for you in some way, uh, because it could be like, I get this sense of an argument or some sort of disagreement that you had with somebody with the star energy in the page of cups. It's like they give the olive, olive branch because the page of cups comes with an apology sometimes when it comes to arguments or disagreements. So I feel this is a real, um, it's a real milestone in a friendship where you get to heal something. For those of you who are in a twin flame relationship, and I will be doing twin flame uh, reading as we move forward um, in the next couple of weeks, there is a real potential for you and your twin to find a resolution this year, uh, but we will go through that uh, separately. Now, the Magician card is occurring in August for you, so you're maintaining focus, you're getting organized, and you are in the flow of all your talents, all your skills, and you are uh, overcoming any obstacles with ease this month. Month. Uh, this is uh, you coming into your own. This is your card, Aries, magician card, where there's a certain magic about you. You're in the law of attraction. Thoughts are becoming things. So very, very positive month there. You're following your true north. And uh, let's see what's coming out there for the magician for you. Four of Pentacles. So if you have bought a home by now, I feel like you really start to get closure on that. And um, there's, a, you know, um, there is... What do you call it? Uh, I'm getting this sense of uh, you being able to move there. Um, now, I will pull a card on this Eight of Cups and the Tower. Uh, so we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles. Now, as I was saying, there is something here about if it, you are buying real estate, I get this sense uh, that the money for this home may be like too much. So if you decide to go for it, um, you may um, walk away from it briefly or pause or just wait and wait for the money to recalibrate so you get a fair deal. Okay, that's what I'm picking up there. But you will get your desire. The Nine of Cups says you'll get your wish come true. Uh, Four of Pentacles. Your money goes from Four of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. So this is a month where you may receive a bonus or if you've got your own stream of income coming in like a side hustle or you're an entrepreneur, this is where you gain more clients, you attract more wealth. Okay, it's all business, business, business. You're focusing on your stability and your money during this month. Now, this may be things that you're focusing on throughout the year, um, but I, I definitely get this sense of you thinking about putting yourself in a very financially lucrative position. Some of you may step into a leadership position this year, um, around about uh, August time. You may be offered, uh, you know, a managerial or a CEO or partner type position, business person, um, your ambition takes you to the top. It's something you wish for, something that you hoped for, and you may shock everybody by walking away from, um, you know, either what you're doing at that present moment in order to take this new position. Um, the, the King of Pentacles tends to mean you're in a cycle of attracting wealth. So a lot more money coming on in, as we saw earlier with the coins, um, and I feel like you get to save this. Uh, it's almost like you're saving it for a rainy day or should there be any economic um, fluctuations that are negative for the collective. I feel like you're trying to put yourself in a really good position. I always say when you get an Eight of Cups, and it is the history of this card, whenever you get an Eight of Cups and you walk away from something that perhaps is not vibing at your frequency or you liberate yourself from a feeling of being stuck, you know, the Eight of Cups 
always leads to the nine of cups because you had the courage to shake things up and do things differently. And I really feel like you're coming out of a comfort zone. Your inner power is coming to the fore in this month where you smash through any um, restrictions or anything that uh, could potentially um, keep you stuck. I get the sense of you being really proud of yourself, that you are bold and you get a better deal. OK, so whether that's in real estate or whether that's in your work environment or whether it's, you know, in order to go on uh, some travel, for example, uh, I feel like you get a discount in some way. Now, I have to say for you, my beautiful Aries, if you are traveling in this month, there could be some um, t plot twist where you have to change the dates or there's some sort of delay or something going on there. Uh, you may think about walking away from it and rebooking another time and you will be recompensed for it. There is... Um, yeah, there's money to come from that, okay? But it may disappoint you uh, briefly, but I feel like you go at another point in the year and it's much more enjoyable. And um, you actually, um, it's like you get your money back, but also compensation. So it's almost like you get double and then you've earned money, you've made money from the situation, okay? Now, um, some of you, if you've set up your own business, I feel like you really come into your own around about August where there's an explosion of money coming on in or um, your channel is blowing up, that sort of thing. I get this sense of you, um, you know, there's a lot of business to be done in this month in August. So I see a lot of paperwork as well, but I see a lot of success. So you may be bogged down with, um, you know, formalities, but it's worth it. Uh, as we move into, I mean, literally you had the tower you know, and you've got the, the full card. So I do see some of you actually moving on from some place, uh, really making a major change or a lifestyle change in the month of August that will ricochet or uh, have a ripple effect into September. Um, for the some of you that I said the travel will be delayed or something goes on with travel there, you may take the trip in, uh, well, like I get more of a sense that you take a trip in September instead. So it won't be delayed for long, but I do get a sense that you'll be fairly recompensed for it. The full card is about opening yourself up to a new adventure and trusting the process, surrendering to the path, knowing that the universe has got your back, that you're protected, but also there's a spring in your step. This is a really fun month, okay? This is a fun month to connect to your inner child, to do things that are bold, um, out of your comfort zone, and really have a lot of fun, okay? Um, I feel confidence as well here with this. There's an energy here of anything can happen, and um, there's freedom. King of Swords, okay? Now, King of Swords is like a pro, uh, King of Swords is a master of their craft, but also King of Swords is connected to international energy. So some of you may be thinking about going abroad or some of you may be, uh, you know, um, you may have online businesses, for example, that are, um, will go global. Uh, so I definitely get a sense there of leadership. Um, but also the King of Swords is all about analysis and judgment. And you got the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands there. Uh, so it's like if you're taking a risk or taking some sort of leap of faith, again, there is this message that keeps showing up for you throughout the year, which is think before you act. Think of the chessboard. The whole year for you is a chessboard. Thinking of your next move. Seeing all the eventualities before you actually play that piece that you're playing at that time. Page of Wands is be curious, identify it, really look at it, um, and you know investigate things really deeper. Otherwise, you are set to find something up. You know, it's like something could go wrong, or there could be difficulty, shall we say. It's not that they will go wrong, but it's like they, it could raise some difficulties if you don't do your due diligence. Okay, um, now. I'm going to pull a card separately of this three of wands, sorry, three of swords, um, because I'm getting a, an energy of someone could wound you with their words in this month. And no one likes to hear that, but I have to clarify it because that's what I'm seeing right now. They're also showing me um, a bear in the water. Now, they did this, I think, for Capricorn, the Capricorn reading. They showed me a bear, which means endurance, power, strength, um, protection, holding your own. Thriving under difficult circumstances. So uh, just watch out for bear. Uh, two of Cups. So this could be in a relationship. 
someone that you love dearly. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but it's someone who you, you trust, someone who vibes on a soul level with you. And um, they may wound you, okay? Now, as you see, we've got the wounded warrior here, nine of wands, but it's in the reverse, which is really positive. It means you can find a solution to this. Like, so nine, uh, the, the nine of wands with the two of cups is like someone you love, you know, may wound you with their words, but you will get over it. Um, you know, I feel, well, I, I actually get this sense of, um, you could be a little bit defensive about this, but it's like lighten up. Um, I don't know. I feel both of you need to lighten up. Perhaps there's some sort of pressure during this month on both of you, perhaps both of you are doing something new. Um, if you're in a relationship, both of you may be relocating or taking a new job or something new. And when people are doing things that are out of their comfort zone, it can be exhilarating and thrilling, but at the same time, it can be a little bit nerve wracking. So it's about finding a new flow between both of you, okay? Uh, because I feel like there's a lot of changes going on with you, my beautiful Aries, but if you're in a relationship, then that, uh, you know, your partner also has to be factored in as well and vice versa. So um, both of you may be actually starting something new if you're thinking about relocating, okay? Um, or, you know, even, even if you're um, just changing jobs, you know, because both of you are deciding to try new sectors, uh, there's definitely, um, there's passion, but there's also being really realistic about um, what can be done in the time frame that you've got. Um, can also be something that you're manifesting, okay? It's like something you're manifesting, you know, if you're overcautious, uh, then of course it will be delayed, but if you're not cautious enough, then it has the potential to be difficult. So it's about finding the balance between the two. Now, I feel like you are bold and coming out of a comfort zone, but it's like these two cards back to back is like, look before you leap. Okay, so it's like you're trying to do something bold, but look before you leap because it could lead to a little bit of difficulty. Um, now, as we move into um, the uh, month of October, uh, you can see that actually your plans were successful. Uh, you know, there is a lot of strategy. This is like your game plan, shall we say. The emperor is always strategizing or thinking, being analytical about next moves, thinking about the future, planning to settle down. So uh, it's also a card of success, being in a really good position. And I get a sense, you know, you've gone through, uh, throughout the year, you've gone from the page to the king to the emperor. So you really come into your own. There's a lot of success here. You're hitting milestones in terms of your career. Um, if you're retired, you're hitting milestones in terms of your personal power and you're putting yourself in a really good position. Some of you, if you're retired, I get this sense of you consulting or maybe coming back in and out sometimes to give your advice um, to people um, and it being really rewarding. So let me just pull a card on that for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angels. Can you please guide Ace of Wands, new chapter. You keep getting the same cards because you're trying to keep things interesting throughout the year. So this is about passion being your power, being very creative, taking the initiative, and being original in your choices. You're doing things differently this year, and it's allowing you to open yourself up to new experiences and new opportunity. Uh, King of Wands, you're at the top of your game. Your passion really is your power. You're going from strength to strength, and you've got two opposite ends of the spectrum there, um, which is really, really positive. Uh, King of Wands is you are influencing your destiny with your passion this year, okay? So whatever it is, thoughts become things, and you've got that motivation, that drive, that willpower to make it happen. You are the master of your craft. You are a leader. You're not a sheep. You're the sort of person who is bold and has that vitality to make magic happen in your life. And I feel it shall be that way, okay? I feel like some of you are pretty sensible most of the time, but you're going to take some calculated risks this year and you're going to make things happen. Lots of new things available to you that you will be excited about, okay? Now we move into the month of November and we've got the Devil card. So I'll pull a card on this because this can be a card where you let yourself go a little bit more hedonistic, okay? It's like letting your hair down um, and there may be a bit of temptation going on there. So as I said before, some of you may lapse from diets or exercise routines, but you may feel bonded to something okay, that you feel it's difficult to release or get out of. It could also be that there is a Capricorn who strongly influences a situation. 
Eight of Pentacles, oh, you feel bored, okay? <laughs> There's a potential to be a little bit bored um, as well in the month of November because you're working really hard, you're focusing on, some of you may do some repair work around the home space, um, whether it's a new home or an old home. Um, Eight of Pentacles is like keeping your head down, focusing on your work-life habit, uh, your commitment to your dreams, your goals, being in a routine or repetitive cycle. If you want to be really good at something, you must repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until you become the master of it. And this is a card of being the master of your craft or the mistress of your craft and being somebody who is in control of your destiny. Um, and whilst we're trying to do something and make it really positive and successful, sometimes it can be a little bit boring because you feel a little bit cut off from certain things or you just feel like, you know, uh, everybody else is heading out to the bar, having a great time, and you're like, oh, I gotta focus on this thing. I'm working towards something really special. You're not letting anyone derail you from your path. Doesn't mean you're not gonna go out when you wanna have fun, because this is a card of having excess. But I feel, you know, there may be moments where you're like, oh gosh, I'm working really hard. Where's the reward? Where's the reward? Well, it is coming. Three of Wands says you're on the right path. And you may be launching something new or thinking about the bigger picture when it comes to your life and success. And the Three of Wands basically says, there are opportunities coming on in here. There will be invitations as well. And teamwork um, will work for you as well. You don't have to do everything by yourself. If you're the sort of person, if you work in a, a company environment where you work with others, this could be a month where you really look at other people and think, why am I doing this all by myself? No one seems to help me. You know, if they delegate their work towards me, I actually help them out. But when I need somebody, they're not doing it. So you may really look at this environment as being, um, very selfish or that people are very toxic and you may feel uh, it's time to look further afield for other opportunities. Three of Wands though is a card of waiting, playing the long game, enterprising, you know, you're anticipating more success, you're being patient and you're working really hard, you have intense focus this month and you're very busy and it will lead you to reward but it just may feel, you know when, if Okay, for example, you know when the working week, Monday to Friday, let's say people work Monday to Friday, although I seem to work every day. I don't know what, how that's happened, but um, you know, I've got a lot of things going on with family and things like that. So um, you know, if you look at your week and you think Wednesday is the, the, you know, the, the hump day where you're like, oh gosh, it's only Wednesday, right? Okay, I've still got Thursday and Friday to go before I can maybe let down my hair or whatever. Uh, it feels like that your November is the Wednesday where you're like, oh gosh, it's, it's November. It just feels like a very long month, okay? Even though there's going to be some fun moments, it just feels a little bit longer than most. Then we move into um, December hermit mode. This is a very uh, spiritual month for you, very philosophical month. You're winding down the year and you're trying to recharge your batteries because you've did a lot in 2023 a lot of success came your way a lot of money a lot of twists and turns ups and downs people showing their true colors uh, secrets coming to light but a lot of reward and i feel like you're feeling a little bit like withdrawing to uh it's almost like you're fed up of this year now and you need to move on okay you're recharging your batteries and you're ready to be inspired for 2024. Uh, the hermit energy also is like the light at the end of the tunnel uh, this year is over and you're on to the next uh, also with the hermit card i feel like you're going inward for answers okay asking yourself really checking in with yourself again am i on the right path do i love what i'm doing the devil card okay some of you may be even taking some healing uh from because it's reaching for the star there that figure is reaching for the star which is all about healing regrouping energies especially after the devil energy that you just had from the month before again it could be a month to that you're tempted to overeat indulge in very rich foods or you know um alcohol things like that substances um we have the three of pentacles okay so the high priestess there we've got the devil so again, I've already explained the devil, you know, some of you may be tempted to overindulge in this month. That's the energy I'm picking up from this card. But the high priestess is like being a little bit more mysterious, taking a step back, really focusing in silence about the things that you're bubbling up or cooking up for the following year, the new ideas. But it's also a period of reflection, checking in with source, um, really building your faith believe and you shall receive is what I'm getting here. But you know, that three wands came out and that 
figure on the three of wands was standing on top of a mountain waiting for other opportunities or looking for uh, looking further afield for other opportunities shall we say i'm just going to show it to you and she's holding a ship so she's ready to launch the next idea or the next project or the next thing that they want to do or you want to do rather and as you can see there the high priestess is like ready to launch that ship now the ship is in the water so it's like you may be quietly launching something new or trying to finalize something new um, or rebuilding in some way um, in order to um, you know embrace the new year and be ahead of yourself three of pentacles it's still going to be a busy month you know, but I feel it's less so. You're winding down that energy. Uh, Three of Pentacles is the card of engineering or planning, you know, using your talents, your creativity to be inspired um, to install new ideas or new um, structures in your life. Uh, Three of Pentacles is also about people gathering. So uh, I feel like there may be some social gathering or people coming together, um, going out, having fun with each other. As you can see there, those birds are helping that figure uh, mend, but also um, things are coming together. Delicate situations are starting to formulate in a very strong, secure way. So I feel like everything is falling into place for you. And you look back on the year with, uh, you know, um, you don't look back on the year with rose tinted glasses. You look back with reality, like, okay, there were some ups, there were some downs, but I'm really proud of what I accomplished. And now on to the next. That's what I really feel for you for 2023. I'm just going to go and get some final cards before I close. Okay, so we have wonderful cards here. We've got pronghorn action and we've got elephant greatness. Okay, so taking action will lead to greatness there for you. I hope you can catch those cards. I will do them individually. It says, now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. So 2023 is a great year for you, okay? You can already feel it right from the very beginning. Um, and we've got elephant greatness. Elephants, they remove any obstacles that get in their way and they use their intuition and their compassion, their empathy to sense their surroundings and take them to where they want to go, okay? Uh, very sociable creatures as well. Of course, they can uh, live independently, but they look after their own. So there's a real sense of camaraderie and loyalty and friendship. And I feel that is something that you will also discover more of in the year 2023. It says love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Okay, so two cards that really clarify that you will be very successful. Leadership is your birthright and you will uh, come full term. And some of you may also, um, if you're traveling and you're retired, you may even dis uh, decide to go on a safari or some sort of um, further afield trip that brings you into contact with these animals. Um, now, I don't know. Uh, whether these animals exist in these places because uh, they've given me one place in particular in the world right now they're showing me South Africa okay so I mean some of you may have booked a trip there I don't know if there's a pronghorn a pronghorn or an elephant in South Africa I'm sure they they are uh, but I, I don't know for sure um, but they're just giving me South Africa so some of you may actually go there as well okay or that's on your schedule to do list for 2023 but you haven't booked it yet uh, now, I hope something resonated in that reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Um, and this beautiful trinket is your final trinket, the star. Allow yourself to shine this year, my beautiful Aries. Um, you are here to shine that wonderful inner light. There's lots of healing here for you. There's lots of wishes showing up for you this year as well. Be confident, believe, and you shall receive. And um, I feel with the starfish there, it really is um, about you processing a lot of emotions, being cathartic, um, and releasing anything that no longer flows with you. Uh, so um, I also get you're following your true north. And I feel like you will find your way to your true purpose, your true prosperity, and you will feel this sense of peace that comes with it. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries, and love and light.